Hey everyone, so I'm doing my February favorites, and I know it's a little bit late, but I definitely wanted to get this video up because I have a lot of exciting things um, that I want to talk about that happened or that I liked during the month of February. So I'm going to start off with just all the makeup items. First thing is my Aveeno Positively Radiant Tin and Moisturizer, and this has an SPF of 30, and it says it evens tone and texture with natural looking coverage. Oh yeah, this one is in the color medium, and when I got this at Target, it was actually the only color they had. They didn't have a, like a light or a darker version. They only had the medium tone, and for me, it works on my skin tone. I think during the winter, it might be a little dark, but now that it's starting to warm up and I have more color on my face, it's perfectly fine, and also the coverage is very sheer, so it's not like it's um like a foundation or anything because the color basically blends into your skin, but that is what it looks like, and then it just blends really, really nicely. And it gives um, a very dewy finish. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. The only thing is, if you like, like a full face of foundation every day, it probably would be too light for you because it is a very, very sheer coverage, but it is very moisturizing. And I think it's a great product for the summertime and especially a day when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, but you do want to kind of even out a little bit of redness or you just want a little bit of color on your skin, but not like a full foundation. It's kind of expensive. It was like $13 I think so it's kind of expensive for like a drugstore brand but it's definitely really cool and I think if you're looking for a really nice light very moisturizing tinted moisturizer you should check it out okay now um, the next thing is actually the Revlon quad and this is the cream illuminance cream eyeshadows in the colors not just nudes so this is what they look like. Obviously, they're all nude colors. They kind of have like a cream to powder finish, which is really cool because when they're on your eyes, they actually look like just normal eyeshadows. I actually have them on right now. You can kind of see. Um, and they're really like reflective and shiny, and they're just not reflective. But I don't know. They're very like just very pretty colors, and they look nice and dewy on the skin. They don't look like a lot of like cakey um, powder eyeshadow. I know... At least for me, I can notice like when I go outside and it's warm out and I have a lot of like thick eyeshadow on, it just kind of looks like cakey and it kind of like settles into lines and stuff. But these just like smooth over your eyelids. And I love this one right here, which is kind of like um, a cream finish, like as in it doesn't have any shimmer to it. And I love this underneath the brow bone. It really highlights the brow bone and it's just a beautiful color. And I also love this one right here to put on the lid. It's kind of like a taupey color. And then this kind of brown shimmery color, and then this brown one is a little bit, um, doesn't have any shimmer or any sparkle to it. So I love these, and I actually did a video using just these, and it was like a fast makeup look. So I'll be uploading that video soon, and I'll talk more about these in there. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is from Tarte, and it's their True Love Natural Cheek Stain. And I love this. It's basically like a gel blush. Um because it's not really a cream, but it's definitely more of a gel finish. And it has natural mineral pigments, it's antioxidant rich, and it has a natural fragrance. So I really like Tarte because they do do all like the natural ingredients. So if you're someone who's into like natural makeup and stuff, I think you'd really like this. And you can give it, um, that's kind of the color, so it's like a nice sheer kind of pinky red color. And it gives just a really natural flush to the cheeks. It doesn't look like you have a ton of blush on, but if you do want a stronger color, you can just apply more. And if you want a lighter color, you can just blend it out really nicely. So I really like that blush, and it's just really good, and it's great for summer and spring too. Next thing is the nail polish that I actually have on, which is like, I think my new favorite nail polish. This is OPI's Over the Top Blue, and it was from the Shrek collection, so I'm not sure if you can still get it or not, but I got it at my Ulta, and it was on sale, and I love it. It's like the color of the ocean blue. It takes two coats, and it's completely opaque. It has a nice cream, like, shiny finish, and it's just like one of my new favorite nail colors ever. It's so pretty and perfect for spring, so I love that. And then um, for kind of more like fashion and stuff, this, I've really been loving things that have like beads. This cuff is actually from Forever 21 and it has multicolored beads and then the gold beads. And I actually bought this because I have a maxi dress that I bought for spring break. And it's a black maxi dress and it's one shouldered and I think I showed it in a haul. But I wanted an accessory to go with it and I didn't want to pair it with a necklace because I kind of wanted, um just the one shoulder and everything to kind of be the main focus of the dress but I did think it needed a little pop of color or something so this is perfect I think it adds like a great pop of color to any outfit definitely you could do like jeans and a plain white tee and just have this okay now I'm gonna move on to things that are like kind of my musical favorites I've had two musical favorites for the month of February and they are both in February was a very exciting 
month for both of these people. So the first one I want to talk about is Lily and Lily Halpern. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her, but I actually went to New York and got to be in her music video. And her new song, Wishless, it's really great and it's really catchy and I like it a lot. But I did a video and I showed some photos and stuff. But while we were shooting the music video, someone actually filmed the behind the scenes. And they made a really great video. It's like wonderfully edited. And it just kind of shows like what we did the first day of shooting. So I'm going to link that video below. And you should go check it out if you're interested. And then her actual wishlist video will be coming out soon, probably the end of March. So watch out for that. But if you want to see kind of behind the scenes and see Lily kind of talk about it and stuff, uh, you should go check out that video. And I'll link it again below. And then the next person, musical favorite, is Ron Pope, and I've been using his music in my videos for um, ever since I really first started making videos, so for about a year now, but I've actually liked his music for about two or three years, and he just came out with a brand new album that came out on March 7th, and it's the Whatever It Takes album, and now he also is going on tour for his Whatever It Takes tour, so I'm so excited because he's actually coming to Austin pretty soon, and I'm going to be going to his concert and maybe get to meet him, so I'm excited for that, and I've just always support his music because he's so talented and his songs don't get old like I can listen to them over and over again and I don't get bored at all so I will list all of his tour dates and information down below and you can check out his website I love supporting people that are just very very talented and I'm so excited because he actually reached out to me and he actually sent me a copy of his album about a month before it actually came out so I got to listen to it and tell him my favorite songs and stuff and I just think that's so nice and so sweet and I just love that he found me through YouTube, so it's all the more reason to support him. Okay, now moving on to other favorites of the month of February. Finally, it is getting warm here in Texas, and I actually am going on spring break next week. So I'll be leaving Sunday, and I'll be gone for a whole week, and I'm not sure how the internet connection will be. So I might not be putting videos up, but I will be filming for videos. So once I get back, I'll have a bunch of videos. And I'm actually going to do a spring outfit of the day video and everything out there. And I already did a spring um, makeup tutorial, and I did a spring hairstyle. So I'll link those videos below if you haven't seen them. And then my spring outfit of the day will be coming soon once I get back from spring break. And hopefully I'll have some cool scenery to do that video with. Also, on our Our Advice For You, our advice channel, we made the cutest video ever. And we actually interviewed people that we go to school with. And we asked a bunch of kids that we go to school with um, some advice questions, what attracts them to people. And the video is so incredibly cute. So if you want to see like the people I go to school with and some of my friends, definitely check out that video. Because it's just so well made and I'm so excited because the video is super funny. But I guess that's basically it. I'm really excited. February was a great month. I hit 200,000 subscribers. And I don't know, we're just, we're going strong on YouTube. I'm, I'm in a good mood with YouTube right now. You know those kind of times when you get kind of like, if you make videos, you know what I'm talking about. But when you kind of just get down and you're kind of like, mm, just don't like want to make videos, don't really feel like it. That's totally opposite of what I am right now. I'm totally like all for YouTube right now and so excited. So I guess that's basically it. But I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you very soon. Have a very safe spring break. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And also, I'll link Twitter and Facebook fan page down below because people have been asking me for those links. And normally they should be in my videos, but if they haven't been, um, I'm sorry, but they'll be down here below. So you can follow me on there if you want to, and we can chit-chat and talk and stuff. Alright, so I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to post your February favorites videos as video responses to this video, even though I know this video is really late. But anyways, okay.